Hey, what's up, good people? Welcome back to Stock Up with Larry Jones. If you are new to the page, go ahead and hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell. Um, as you can probably hear, uh, my voice is in the basement. I went to a uh, uh, 70s party for my baby brother, Justin, so I had to talk for hours over blasting music. And before that, I was at a school reunion, again, talking over blasting music. All right, I'm off. I uh, graduated uh, from the West Side of Chicago. I'm an Orr High School Spartan. All right. So listen, um, I just want to talk about <laughs> what's going on in this market. <clears throat> We're in a correction, good people, regardless of what the talking heads say, uh, regardless of uh, what some committee says, regardless of what the Fed says, regardless of the narrative that the White House is trying to put out there because it's, it's um, you know, elections are coming up. Um, and so, you know, at first, what they said made sense, but when you just zoom out and look over it, they're trying to kick the can down the road. Like I forestated in the previous video that the recession of 2008 was officially announced December 1st, I believe it was, uh, in 2008, but the actual recession started in 2007, right? In the second half of 2007. So well over, you know, uh, 15 months before they actually announced that, hey, by the way, we were in a recession and it started last year, right? <clears throat> so it doesn't matter. It's all semantics. It only matters what affects you, right? And what's coming up. What's coming up is, is there will be more job loss. And this is not negative. This is positive, right? And so we have a strong job market right now. And because of that, they're saying that we're not in a recession, all right? So I'm not going to be talking. I'm not going to be bringing this point up anymore. Um, I'm going to try not to, let's put it that way. Uh, but it it the narrative is working and uh if tomorrow monday the stock market is green uh then that 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 leads me to believe that the stock market is actually believing the narrative right so yeah if there's a lot of negativity out there then the stock market is going to go down people going to hold their stock you know and not uh invest out of fear and that will cause the market to go down if the narrative is out that the stock market is up and we're fine we're going to avert a, a, a recession and the stock market goes up and so hey if it's working it's working we here at stock up we're just going to look at the data and um and follow it and we're going to see what the market is doing all right so tomorrow monday will be a huge, for me personally, will be a very important day. If Monday closes uh, positive, if Monday closes positive, I don't mean a thousand percent positive. I don't, if the Dow and S&P, let's say the Dow just closes green. If, if we can just close green tomorrow, that will be, to me, that would be huge for the market. Um, everything that went on last week, and then Friday, and then Monday, and then the market closing green. For me personally, that will be huge. Now, there's some other things going on. You got the uh, energy bill, 370 million, I'm sorry, $370 billion uh, energy bill, which will be the most robust and biggest energy bill yet, all right? Um, this is bigger than the infrastructure as far as what's coming to uh, what they call clean energy, right? So we want to start looking again at electric vehicles. Remember, we made a killing on that bill last year. If you follow my play uh, January of this year, when I said, hey, let's load up, and we loaded up on all of these EVs, and then when the, the bill passed, I said it was time to take profits, and we all took profits, right, good people? And we made a ton of money. On some of those plays, we made 100%. Uh, if you followed that move, leave me a comment. And if you profited off of that move, leave me a comment. So, uh, but that's what we're looking at. So I would be looking at some battery uh, manufacturing companies. 
I do have one that I'm looking at, ticker symbol F-R-E-Y, uh, Fryer, Fry, Frey, or something like that. Frey, Freyer, I think the name of the company is, but it's the ticker symbol is F-R-E-Y. Now, it's still in its early stages uh, of development, but it's a battery technology company. I believe it could be uh, one of these uh, sleeping giants, okay? So you guys do your own research. Anything I say is not a suggestion for you to buy, hold, or sell, all right? And so uh, we're going to monitor this week, but the reason why I wanted to make this is because if the markets close Monday, positive then um we we're looking we're looking at some major movement in the markets if the markets just say hey yeah we are going positive that's going to be big for people um and so we're going to govern ourselves accordingly our five dollar a day challenge which we have went this entire year will will just start to pop uh, where the red starts to becoming green as it goes on. And in all of your dollar cost averaging, if you've been following the Larry Jones $5 a day challenge, those portfolios will start to become green. All right. And all of your work will prove that it's not in vain. And then if it continues to go up, it becomes even greener, uh, solidifying that you were actually purchasing at the best purchase price okay and so that's what i wanted to talk about and lastly i'm going to talk about learning from our mistakes no one gets everything right there is not a um there's not a youtuber there is not a broker you know there's not a hedge fund out there that gets everything right but what i want to talk about is learning from our mistakes you know my dad used to always say never bump your head on the same pole twice okay so the next time you duck you know that pole is there don't so what we we're going to do is we're going to be taking profits in the stock that we're going to be taking prop we should be taking profits in right and then we're going to continue to build generational wealth especially now with um, these great blue chip companies, okay? And, you know, the Apples, the NVIDIA, those, those the Apples, the Microsoft, should I say, not, not necessarily NVIDIA, but I like NVIDIA and I like AMD. Um, so we're going to be looking at those blue chip companies, the companies you want to own for years, including Tesla now, right? So you guys, forgive me, my allergies are just uh, these last couple of days have just been kicking my butt so pray for me but we want to learn from our mistakes we've all had mistakes we've all had uh, um, things but the thing is is that these mistakes I'm telling you I don't care if you're 90 percent down on your entire portfolio I don't care if you threw all your money into crap coins or crap stock or hype I don't care it's still going to be worth you doing it the earlier you do it as a matter of fact i'm gonna go out on a limb and say the earlier you make a big mistake and learn from it the more you're going to profit in the markets and what i mean by the markets stocks and crypto and yes we're dollar cost averaging in i turned my dollar cost my dca back on in crypto and uh i still believe now that there is another leg down so I'm just DCAing mainly. I'm not going in heavy. And because remember, I said, if the market, if uh, GDP goes low and the market tanks, then I was going to start buying heavy. But as you know, the GDP was low for the second quarter, which technically says we're in a recession and the market actually rebound. And that scares me, good people, because I know what I'm looking at. All right. So, hey, we're going to try to leave it right there and keep this one short. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be in Weeble. We're con going to continue to DCA. Um, I'm going to try to give you my top, um, my top, uh, stock on my $5 a day challenge. Okay. I'm going to give you my top four or top five. And we're going to continue to DCA with the Weeble app. All of my links are below deposit. I mean, click my links and get the free stuff. And then with Moomoo, we're going to do a couple of things. The first thing we've been doing right now is just cashing up. I want you guys to continue to cash up with 
the Moo Moo app, right? But then we're going to do um, um, uh, plays that have low PEs, okay? We're going to start buying into some of these plays that have low PEs. I've talked with stock with Josh. I talk with stock Curry. I get what theirs are. These are called value stock. We're gonna buy them with low PEs and we're just gonna hold them. And when the recession is over and we have not hit a real recession yet, this is a soft recession, then we will make money on those plays. That's what we're doing with Moomoo right now but I'm also gonna be doing something else with Moomoo. So it's important that you guys have a, both of these apps. If you're on your phone, tap where the heading of this video is, the title of this video is, and you'll see the drop down and you'll see the links, right? If you're on your computer, it's easy. It's in the description. Both of these platforms are going to give you thousands of dollars, up to thousands of dollars of free stock. Listen, deposit them both and deposit a hundred dollars into both. None of this penny stuff, right? Let's let's get serious. Deposit a hundred dollars into both of them, right? We're gonna see you later. Pray for my voice. Hopefully, I have something a voice actually for Monday. But right now, I sound like Barry White. All right, I love you guys. Still praying over you, your health, your wealth, and your family and your finances. All right, and you guys, I pray they're doing the same for me. Peace.